Hey guys, Jen Gaming here, and welcome to a brand new how-to video. I thought it'd kind of relate to the last how-to I did of how to install mod packs through Twitch app. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own kind of mod pack or mod group on Twitch. However, this would not be a public mod pack. What you have to do for that is actually have it approved by the Twitch app or curse. And that's a little bit of work. But if you just want to have one for fun to make Minecraft a little more interesting or just have a little more of a new challenge, this is a cool way to do it too. So one thing I like to look at when I'm making my own custom, as you can see, everything with this picture right here are all customs. And this is kind of a sneak peek for a summer series I'm planning. But I have all these mods here and I have it for everything. This one was for my Easter video, which I didn't end up using a ton of mods. I just kind of did a little video because I didn't have much time. But you can make all sorts of things. What I like to do is a look at a mod pack that I already have installed. So this one's the Mystic Mesa mod pack. And once you install it, you get an overview, which kind of explains about it. Um, and then you get this installed mods, which shows you all the mods that are installed with it. What I like to do is see these mods and it helps me to see maybe what mods go together because some mods do not work together. <laughs> You'll find that out by crashing. I'll show you an example of one, but let's create a new one. So I'm just going to put this one as a how-to. And the next thing you can do is you can put um, any type or any game version. So they have 1.11.2 all the way down to 1. Um, a popular one is 1.7.10. And that's probably where most of the mod packs are. Or, or the mods are available is 1.7 for 10. All of them have updated, but not all of them have updated to the newest version. But we're just going to go with, um, let's just go with 1.11. And then it will automatically s install the forge you need for 1.11. I'm going to make sure I get the right one. Let's go. <laughs> so now it's installing everything for you. This is the safest way to kind of create your own mod pack and also install mods. So even if you want one mod, you can totally do it through here. I'll show you a different way in another video if you'd like and how to install mods, but this is kind of the safest and easiest and the best way, in my opinion, to get some mods together and play mods on your computer. So first thing you notice is up here there is a search. So you can search for any mod that you can think of. Um, one I like is Doggy. Sometimes it doesn't have it. Talents. I will show you in another video how to add different mods to it, but I think Copious Dogs is on here. Nope. Let's just do mole <laughs> creatures. So you can type in Mo and all of these will come up. There's furniture mod. Um, what if you just want Mo Creech? Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does. Or you can put animals. Oh the baby animals, it's cute. But the best thing to do kind of is through this thing. There's categories. So you can do all, you can do any of these. If you really want different things, just all sorts of things that kind of put them together. I'm more of the cosmetic type <laughs> and then like adventure RPG type. So these are kind of all what would you consider to be cosmetics. But are the bunnies so cute? It's a bunny and a top hat. <laughs> Another way is to sort by. So you can do feature, popularity, list, updated name, author, and total downloads. So total downloads would also be popular, I feel, or popular. Um, we'll just do by popular. And some of the mods, let's just do a journey map because I like the little map in the corner. You can actually look on here and this shows you information about each mod. And also if you go up to this top corner here, it's the website. So let's just click back on the website real quick. And this is still, Curse is still a thing. Um, it's still a site. So you can download it directly from here. You get a lot of ads, as you can see. It's kind of annoying. Um, if you want to just download this alone, you can do it right here. But I'll show you how to download mods individually in another how-to video, I suppose, if you'd like that. But then that shows that that's installed. Some others, um, I like Pam's Harvest Guys. I'm just going to do a few. So say you want a light mod pack. And you just want like a little map in the corner, you want more like foods. And what else do we want? Actually the gravestone mod is pretty handy. Biomes of plenty. 
a lot more biomes. There's also um, extra large biomes, I think, or biomes XL. Chance cubes are pretty fun. I haven't found the lucky block mod on here yet. Um, RF tools dimension, that's pretty cool. A fast leaf decay if you want your leaves to go faster. Let's do the cute little bunnies. So we're just gonna do a test run of this mod pack. And actually, oh, dense ores, I like that one. <laughs> Um, let's go to, let's go through these real quick. Um, these just categorize each of the mods by specifics. Um, this brings a little more harder things to it. Um, wolf armor, that's pretty cool. Uh, Inferno mobs is really scary, but that's a mod pack or mod if you like that. Sorry about the cut there. My dogs are barking like crazy. They still are. <laughs> um, but there is so many like biomes. So here is all the stuff about biomes. There is, um, where is the other one? Fantasy biomes, what is that? That's neat. There's so many. I believe XL biomes, let's just type in, let's go to all and type in biomes. I thought for sure Biomes XL or XL Biome was here, but maybe, oh, maybe not for this version. That's right. Different mods, different versions. Um, let's go to Cosmetics, because I like Cosmetics. Um, Chisels and Bits is a cool one. Let's do, um, is DecoCraft? Did we already do DecoCraft? Oh, I like Better Foliage. That's a good one. Not that you guys have to pick these mods. You can pick whatever mods you would like. Oh, look at the cool leaf. I was looking for... What are the llamas? I don't know if we'll see extra llamas, but... That looks fun. Wings, Horns, and Hooves is a pretty cool mod pack. Or mod. We'll put that one in. Alright. Let's go to... We can. You can also do maps. So, like, you can download or install maps for your uh, game to play. And also, I recommend looking on YouTube for people who do, like, mod reviews. Um, one of them is Direwolf. I think 20. I'm not entirely sure what his numbers are, but it's Direwolf. He does a lot of modding and mod pack reviews. Uh, Aldi Shadow Lady has a few mod pack review or mod reviews on her channel. And if you just type in mod reviews, there's a whole s bunch of YouTubers that do them. <laughs> and then this is resource packs. You can add a resources, resource packs directly to your uh, game. I don't really see anything that I preferably like. Let me, let's just install this just to see how it works. It's downloading. What's nice is everything is downloading right here. You don't have to do it off site. <laughs> like, it's safe, it's easy. That Hopefully that doesn't take a while. Let's cancel. We'll do that later. So let's go back and install mods. So here's all of our mods. So what you can do, I don't know how to change the picture, but let's go back and here's here it is. Now you probably won't have all of these on here. These are just the ones that I'm looking through and at. Um, the ones with the custom pictures are legit mod packs that have been reviewed and are on here. You can search them through the browser. Um, but let's go ahead and play this. But first, if you want to remove it, you just cl click on it with the right click. You can duplicate it, remove it, play it, view it or you can just left click it and play it. So let's load it up and see how it works, if we got it right and if any mods don't work. If any of the mods don't work, what's helpful is to do them one at a time and play them. It's a little annoying, but it's very helpful because that way you can see which one doesn't work and which one's corrupting your game. It won't like mess with your computer or anything, it'll just crash. <laughs> but that way you can take out the ones that are in your game. While this is loading, I want to go back to the how-tos. Now say you, you know, you really like the llamas but you don't really need them or you want them off for the say or you're playing a specific thing where you just want better bunnies than better llamas. You can actually take out each by doing this without taking them out your pack. So that would make them not work the next game. 
Also, you can click on here to completely erase it. So you just click, and then Wind Horse and Moose is gone. I don't know if that will mess with it. Oh, here. So something with Pam's, oh. Pam's Harvest Craft. So we have a problem with it. So now we just have to exit out, because there's nothing we can do. Um, so let's just take out Pam's Harvest Craft, since that doesn't work. And let's go to play again. It's nice when the launcher tells you that. So this is kind of a good, it, I'm glad it happened. <laughs> One mod that I know makes it crash. I mean, it doesn't crash, but it gives you that warning at the beginning saying that it's not gonna work. Um, is the camping mod, which I'm not sure how or why it's not working. But we'll let this load up again and I will see you guys when we test it. All right, we're back. And there is 15 mods right now. You can click here to get to the mods. And then let's just do single player. Let's create new world. I'll just call it new world. And then you want to, if you have biomes of plenty or any custom, you want to go through that. Do that. Done. Create world. And I gotta remember to turn off the sounds. <laughs> here is our lightly modded new world. One thing you always want to do with um, your new, some mod packs or some mods change your controls. You want to go in and fix your, if you have certain controls you're used to, um, go ahead and do that. Usually I'm used to running, uh, sprinting with F versus my shift because it's just easier to walk through. And it's very simple. It's very easy. It should run on mostly any computer. You cannot install this yourselves. You have to go in and do what I did and pick out the mods you want and play and do like a test run. It looks like everything's running smoothly. We're in wetlands right now according to the, and I keep getting stuff, um, according to the minimap up there, which is really cool. I use that on uh, the Mystic Mesa mod pack. I'm gonna go this way a little bit, do some more test run. I love this better foliage. It makes it look like a little fluffier and the leaves kind of fall. So you can do this in any version. I'm gonna create a 1.7.10 mod pack and I'll show you a little bit more mods that are in it. I kinda wanna see these bunnies. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> Alright guys, I hopped in creative. Hopped in. Because I wanted to see a rabbit in the mod pack site. It's just really cool. So here's your rabbit. Oh, there's two. Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh, this one has glasses. That one has a monocle. Oh my gosh. Oh. This mod is totally worth it. Let's see the dapper. You're regular mama. It might have not worked. Some mods don't work. Oh, it worked. Look how dapper. Oh my gosh, it's a baby. <laughs> That one has a mustache and that one doesn't. Oh, that's so cute. That one has a bow tie. Oh, I love that mod pack. I'm gonna play it more. All right, guys. Let's go into 1.7.10. Let's go ahead and make a 1.7.10 one. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. So you just remove, and it says, are you sure you wanna delete all save games? Hold the little. I also do the backups for this profile, just, I don't know what that does. Don't click on it if you don't want to. So then now it's deleted. So let's create a new custom one. Put another how to. And let's do 1.7.10 because that is super popular. A lot of games are in 1.7.10. Just like we did before, we are not gonna have any mods on here. So let's get some mods. And there's so many more for 1.7.10. Like we got DecoCraft, Biomes, Loot Bags is a fun one, Inventory Pets, Twilight Forest, Minecraft Comes Alive. There's just so many good mod packs. And then let me type in the one I was trying to earlier, the Doggy, Doggy Talons. And then there's the style, which has the little dogs in it that I like. There's so many more biomes in 1.7.10. There's Biomes XL. So it's not updated to the other one yet. And I haven't played Biomes XL ever, so I should I should make one with that. But yeah, so many more. So just play around. Go on a version you like. 
Minecraft version if you like, and then just make your own mod packs. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you want to play with friends, just tell them which ones to play, and then you guys can play on the same mod pack. You'd have to probably have a server if you want to play together. I'm not sure if Realms is supported with the mod yet. That's something for another video, I guess. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. And also let me know if you want to see how to install mods without curse slash the Twitch app. It's a little bit more riskier, but it definitely can be done and how to plan mods on Minecraft without this. But this is a handy, super safe way to do it. It's super fun. And there's just a lot of great mod packs already on here if you don't want to. But this one, like this one's a cool one. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.